actress and style icon Nomzama Mbata just cracked a million followers on Instagram. From New York Fashion Week to the Cannes Film Festival to a day at the polo, her real life is even more fascinating than the characters she plays. Growing up one of eight children raised by her grandmother in Kwamashu in KZN, Nomzamo has become a role model for a generation of young women. Her motto is, when life is sweet, say thank you and celebrate. When life is bitter, say thank you and grow. At 26, this is a woman in command and in control. Nomzamo, you've had an amazing career so far. Tell us about your journey. I started off as a student at UCT studying Ecom Accounting and my life became mundane. I was just so dissatisfied with the quality of it. I'm a person who loves change. And I remember that uh, I watched um, Steve Jobs' commencement speech at Stanford, which I recommend to everyone. And I remember he said, if you're going to drop out of something, you need to drop into something. I dropped out of university, but I never knew what I was going to drop into. And funny enough, I think the acting bug has always been chasing me my entire life. Because in high school, I was called the drama queen. And all my teachers thought I'd be a newsreader. I don't know why, because that's very boring. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember at the end of 2012, I was discovered by Bond Productions. And just within 2013, which was my first year in the industry, I was nominated for awards. I was invited to events. I was known. And it just catapulted my career into stardom, I suppose, and into a platform that I never, ever expected that I'd be on. And now with over a million followers on social media, what does that feel like? And do you feel like there's a lot of pressure? There's absolutely a lot of pressure. Social media is just such a, it's an interesting space. Because when you're having a bad day and you log on to Twitter, and there's a certain conversation that's happening and there's memes being used. You, you just, you, you escape your own reality and you kind of eavesdrop on someone else's conversation and it makes you laugh and it gives you a great energy. And before you know it, it's changed, but it can be a mean space as well. I see a lot of bullying and it can be very discouraging to read that and to experience it. And I've wanted to quit social media so many times, but then I understand why social media is there. It's a platform for all of us to have a voice. And I'd rather have a voice than for somebody else to give me my voice. But um, yeah, a million followers on Instagram. Woohoo! That was amazing. <laughs> I never thought I'd celebrate it, but then when I saw it, I was like, ah, I'm in the league. Mama, I made it. <laughs> Perspective is Nomzamo's strength. A year after moving to Cape Town to study at UCT, she lost her grandmother. This taught her to be fearless in life and to seize every opportunity. Now you've played a number of great different roles, both in films and in series. What have been some of your favorites? Number one was when we starred together in a film, Tell Me Sweet Something. Um, she was a strong woman and it was a challenging time for me because I'd never done a film. It was my first leading role aside from, from doing series. So it was such a... A thing of being thrown into the deep end. But I think we had so much fun, we made it count. And then in terms of series, I have to say Umlilo because she, she was a young girl who had a mission and she accomplished it. And, and I loved the story. I fell in love with her immediately when I, when I was um, pitched the idea of the series. So those have been the two highlights. That hasn't come without its challenges though, and it hasn't been smooth sailing for you. It hasn't been an easy ride, it's been a rocky ride. I've lost a lot of loved ones. I have failed and failed and failed and failed over and over again. But also when I win, I win well. So it's just all an encompassing experience, you know? And, and, I, and, I, and I, I appreciate it. I'm a better person because of it. Well, I can't think of a better reason to celebrate other than that, falling forward and winning well. Ms. Mbata had a date to prepare for as MC for a polo event and chose heels and a dress by a renowned pair of Italian designers. You always get it right. What are your style secrets? <laughs> what are my style secrets? Number one, keeping my body in shape because there's a certain way that I like to look. Number two is staying true to who I am because I believe that when somebody stays true to who they are, you know, they just exude style, grace, and my favorite word, effortlessness. 
Well, you've certainly gotten the dresses and your looks right for today. I know you still have to do a few nip tucks and all of that and do your makeup. So let me get out of your way and we'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks, Max. The finishing touches in her Nubian princess look were courtesy of international makeup artist Ria Mulabisi. I'm all cleaned up and ready for the polo. Our main lady Nomzamo is getting ready and her makeup is getting done before she flies off to the event. So let's see her progress. You get your makeup done almost every day from various sets and shoots, but your skin always stays in such good condition. What's your secret? I'm obsessed with exfoliating. I do believe that, you know, once you exfoliate, you get rid of all the dead cells and making sure your skin stays hydrated. So water, water, water. Drink lots and lots of water. It makes a huge difference. What is the look that you're going for today? It's so important to, to work with a, a makeup artist that understands my face. And Rhea always, she doesn't make me look different. She doesn't make me look like someone else. She just makes me look like a better version of myself. And of course she knows I love a good gold touch here. Yeah? And we love a nice natural lip. So that when you smile, your pearly whites shine. <laughs> Last year you were voted as the best dress at the polo and this year you're going to be the MC for the event. Are you feeling any of the pressure? I'm feeling a lot of pressure because <laughs> I have job. to look good and I have to <laughs> do a good job as MC. Nomzamo was needed on time and in style. By air was the only way as she headed for the Paul Wineland and the Verb Clico Masters Polo. At her side was E! Entertainment host and international Emmy Award winning presenter Zuri Hall, here to see Africa and the world come together. Now Zuri, we watched you arrive in style in that helicopter, how was that? It was a lot of fun and it was really exciting to have sort of this grand entrance to such a glamorous event. Now you're here to interview all the top South African celebrities, some of the biggest and the best, but you've done that all around the world, so how do our South African celebrities compare? Well, listen, the best celebrities in the world are included right here in South Africa. So it's just exciting to be able to speak to them one on one here on the red carpet. Everyone's been so gracious. The stars have been so humble and down to earth. And I talked to a lot of stars in Los Angeles and Hollywood. So I'm very appreciative when, you know, they're kind and sweet. And everyone today has been just that. Mama B, the one and only <laughs> Basada Kubali, you look absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're a person who knows a lot about style. So in South Africa right now, who would you say is your, your style icon? You know, South Africa has got so many talented young people who are just emerging, but I have to point out Unom Zamo. Unom Zamo is really representing, she's slaying. She just has her own unique signature and essence of her style that she celebrates in the way that she puts together. I love her African-inspired outfits. I think she continues to celebrate local talent and local designs, and that also makes her just stand out from the top. It was hard to choose the winning style when guests looked as good as the models, showing a selection of South Africa's top designers. As one fashionista put it, everyone had dressed like a tall, cool glass of champagne. Miss Buitumelo Tulo, looking absolutely amazing. Thank Tell you. me about what you're wearing, who you're wearing. I love this hat, by the way. Thank you. I am wearing um, ethnic, well, totally ethnic. They are these most incredible designers from Ghana, and I absolutely love it. I was supposed to wear this, actually, for a photo shoot while I was in Ghana, and when I saw it, I was like, no, I don't want to wear it for the shoot. I actually want to wear it for the polo, because I felt like it would absolutely, I don't know, complement the event. Dini looking as lovely as always. Why are you here and what are you looking forward to today? This is really one of my favorite events. I think it's kept very small but very classy. And polo, I started enjoying polo tremendously since Prince Harry was here and of course got to interview him. And have you seen what some of those polo players look like? So yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> As at home with polo and fashion were the owners of the winning team, Nikki van der Waalt and Leanne Liebenberg. Nikki, happy birthday. Are you happy with the gift the team gave you in their performance today? Unbelievably happy. Again. It's the best birthday Again. presents ever. Again. You're quite vested into the polo, not only because, of course, you love the sport, but because you play it as well. It's an all-encompassing sport. I mean, it's uh, we challenge you on every level. It's a team sport, which is amazing, but it comes down to the horses now. I've got a deep affinity for horses, and it's a passion sport. Rick, another successful polo event at the Val de Vie Estates. How do you keep making it better and better? 
Well, I think that's something that as an athlete, that's what I always try to do is keep getting better and better. And uh, that's what I try to instill with the team here is that we keep trying to push the boundaries. I think one thing that we're very proud of is that internationally with the Berklico brand, we are leaders when it comes to these events. So they take a lot of the ideas that we do here, take to Los Angeles, to, you know, to New York and to some of the other events. And I have to ask you this, because we've been lucky enough to have spent the day with the MC for today's event, Nomza Mombata. What makes her the perfect choice? For a couple of years, I've been saying we need somebody that can capture the essence of this event and that can keep people's attention. And when she gets on that stage, everybody's looking at her. She's comfortable, she's relaxed. She's really been amazing. And uh, I think she just added that extra touch to this already awesome event. People relate to Nomzamo. Her fashion smarts made a real show of the Style Awards. She interested the polo crowd in the latest design and the fashionistas in the game of polo. That is her magic. So there's clearly nothing that you can't do. So where to from here? What's next? Ooh, what's next? Producing. What's next means that I don't just be in front of the camera but be behind the scenes and I create and we're going to be producing some awesome short films that are really just going to be creating another narrative for what it means to be African and what it means to be African storytellers so I'm excited about that and um, I'm excited about achieving a certain thing in a couple of months <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much. We hope you had a lovely time with us. It was much of a good time that we had with you. And just keep living the best of the good life. Are you going to make sure that I live the best of the good life? I'm going to work as hard as I can to make sure that you're happy. <laughs> with competitors from as far as Nigeria, Polo was the winner as the game's appeal grows across the continent. The day raised 200,000 rand for conservation and everyone had a ball. Mission accomplished. Are you one of Nomzama's Instagram followers? Join the conversation on hashtag top billing and tell us what makes that lady one in a million. Coming up, Jessica Nkosi gets ready to rumble in the Seychelles and rugby's Ross and Kelly Crenier honeymoon in magnificent Mozambique. The reason why kids don't...